Hey guys, welcome back to another day of Mishmas. We are gonna be talking about skincare today. I am so excited. You guys, I think this is probably my most highly requested video is just skincare, skincare in general, what I do, et cetera, et cetera. I talk about my eczema all the time. Many of you suffer from it as well, always asking me for recommendations. And I do have a morning and an evening skincare routine video up. What I'm gonna be talking about today is sort of like supplementary to those routines. So I will link to those two videos down below if you're interested in watching those. But I have discovered basically five uh, new products uh, that I have incorporated into my routine and I've really, really been enjoying the results. I have, oh, my hair looks crazy, but I have no uh, makeup on. I pretty much just woke up and just wanted to start filming so that you guys could see what my skin looks like as soon as I wake up without washing it, without moisturizing it, nothing. Because two products that I wanna start off with are two products that I started using at night. And of course in the morning is when I see the biggest difference. So I wanna kick it off with two products from Guerlain. You guys know how much I love them. And they approached me actually to partner with me on this portion of the video. So I am so, so excited. Thank you so, so much Guerlain for wanting to work with me. Let me show you these products because uh, one product I've been using actually for a very, very long time. The other product I started using a little bit more recently, but I've really, really been enjoying it. And I've been wanting to share it with you guys anyway. So the first one is the youth watery oil and you guys can see how much of this I've used and what they have more recently sent over to me is the double R renew and repair serum so these kind of work together it's part of their a bay line which is their B line and I was just really curious about where they got their B ingredients and they actually sent over like a little brief for me so I just wanted to share this information with you guys because I find it very interesting and I'm sure you guys do too so all of the ingredients for the a bay Royale collection is sourced from this island off the coast of Brittany, France, um, and it's the island of Usant. I think I'm slaughtering that. I'll put it up on the screen, but it's it's this island off the coast of Brittany. And on this island, there is a haven for black bees. And so Guerlain has actually um, partnered with the Brittany Black Bee Conservation Association, and they're committed to protecting this really unique um, species of black bee. And what I didn't realize is like over the years, since uh, 2011, they've created like a bunch of um, partnerships and programs dedicated to protecting and understanding bees which I think is amazing. They've started a Guerlain B University, <laughs> which I think is so cool. And it's just to help, you know, raise awareness for bees, their importance in our ecosystem and how to care for them, etc. And it looks like in 2020, they are actually partnering with uh, UNESCO, which is the United Nations Educational, Scientific and cultural organization and they're partnering with them to like train new beekeepers create beekeeping affiliates across the world and i'm just going to read from here because i'm going to mess this up and measure the benefits of the pollination in the biosphere reserves that is pretty cool. The Guerlain House, which has been committed to sustainability for 12 years, will be increasing its measures to preserve bees and biodiversity. Bees are fundamental in pollination as key pollinators and thus conserving this key ecosystem service is ensuring food security for our planet. So I thought that was really, really cool. I had always kind of been interested in, you know, where they sourced, what they were doing in terms of these bees. And it was really great to read this brief and kind of get the background of it. So I hope you guys found that interesting. But anyway, back to the actual skincare. So let me start with this Youth Watery Oil because this is such an interesting product. I was actually introduced to this um, in the Guerlain Boutique at the Venetian, which has unfortunately closed. So anyway, uh, what the gentleman there showed me was that there's these little um, I don't know if you guys can see, they almost look like seeds, they look like chia seeds, um, but those actually contain uh, some of the bee properties in there. And you're supposed to use the dropper pickup product, um, you know, drop a few drops into the palm of your hand and then actually kind of like break up those uh, seeds, those little bubbles, and then put it all over your face. So all of the seeds, you guys can probably see, it kind of ends up at the bottom of the bottle. I noticed on the box here that it says you're supposed to just shake the bottle. He told me specifically at the boutique, do not shake because you don't want to mistakenly pop these little uh, seeds, these little capsules. So he suggested just kind of like hold it upside down a little bit, you know, just mix it up a little bit. But he said, don't shake it like violently at all because you just, you just don't want to burst them. So this has this big dropper. And then what I do is I drop 
I don't know, it's very, very liquidy, as you can tell. So I don't know how many drops ends up, but I end up maybe with like a nickel sized amount of the product in my hand. And I've been using these products at night. So what I will do is I will wash, I will tone, I will put um, like an essential lotion on, something that helps like the delivery of other skincare products on my face. So I will do that. And then I will go in with this youth watery oil. And again, just a nickel size, I'll kind of rub it in my hands and then I'll just kind of press and spread it all over my face. I'll bring it down my neck. And it has such a wonderful, I mean like watery oil is the perfect name for it. It has such a great consistency because it does end up leaving your skin like a little bit oily, but because it's a lot thinner than a typical oil, it soaks into the skin nicely. It doesn't sit, it doesn't feel like it's like sitting on your skin. It doesn't feel too slick or too, or too oily basically, um, but it does have a little bit of tack. So I have also noticed that this makes a great primer. I use this in the summertime as a primer because, you know, I have dry skin, but even in the summertime, I just feel like it's so hot and I'm sweating and I hate having layer after layer of product on my face that I'll try and like combine a bunch of steps into one. And I'll end up using this as a primer because it's so thin and it soaks up easily. And I feel like I'm, you know, doing a little extra moisturization, but I'm also priming my skin for makeup. So this is just such an interesting unique product and I've been you know waiting to share this with you guys because I've been using it in spurts like in the summertime I used most of what you see here uh, because of its like light consistency I've just really been loving it and then when Guerlain sent this to me to try out I thought okay well how should I use these together and I was trying all these different ways and I really like these products at night so that's what I've been doing like I said I will tone and do all that with my skin I'll put this on kind of rub it in I'll let it soak in for a little bit and then I'll go in with this double R serum so you can see there's like two chambers here and the pump does all the work for you it kind of combines these two things together again I'll just put the product right into the palm of my hand I'll probably just do what have I been doing just like one maybe like one and a half pumps and again I'll just kind of like combine the two products and then I'll just kind of like press it into my skin this definitely has a stickier consistency than this actually let me pump some out now so you guys can see yeah I definitely do like one and a half pumps that's what I do so it has like a little bit of a stickier consistency and that's why I've been using it at night for me it just was feeling a little bit like it was sitting on my skin like something I don't like for daytime so I thought let me use it at night it'll give it time to kind of like soak in and it's been awesome so I wonder if you guys can see that on the palm of my hand so it's not I mean it's not like it doesn't feel like it's tape or anything, but there's like a little bit of tackiness there. And so I just kind of let that sit on my skin for a little bit. And then I'll just go in with my night cream. But my skin, when I wake up, my skin, like sometimes I feel like when I use things that are too heavy, like a heavy mask, I feel like I wake up and my skin, you know, my skin will look nice. It'll look smooth, it'll look plump, but almost like my, my face is like bloated, like my eyes are puffy. And I have noticed that when I use anything that's like overly moisturizing or just anything that's just too heavy and too thick, but I haven't noticed that with like this whole combination. It seems to be like the perfect nighttime treatment for me because it does everything I want like I feel like my fine lines are plumped up like everything looks really smooth I look like I'm freshly moisturized, but it's not too much like I don't wake up and my face is puffy like my face looks normal in fact it doesn't look puffy at all which is amazing so I have been absolutely loving this combination and many of you have been asking me if I've changed anything in my routine you've been asking me like if I've been doing anything different because my skin has been looking really nice and I definitely attribute that to this because when you guys see me when I film it's generally like first thing in the morning and this has given me like such a nice like base to work with when I wake up so anyway that's the Abbe Royale from Guerlain the double R renew and repair serum and the youth watery oil. All right, the next product I wanna talk about is one that you guys have been like hounding me about. <laughs> it's the Victoria Beckham Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer. This is, this is lovely. This is really, really lovely. And I like this as a moisturizer. I like this as a primer and I've been using it as a primer because I, you know, as you guys know, I have a whole skincare routine in the morning and this is really lovely. Because I have so much skincare on, sometimes adding another primer on top of it is, it can sometimes feel like a lot, but this is, um, it's moisturizing, it has a lovely texture, and it just doesn't 
add to any kind of like weight of product on my skin. Let me actually pump some out. And even though I was a little bit disappointed that it didn't have any kind of like glow, built-in glow to it, it really gives my skin like such a nice glow, you know, despite it not ha actually having any like particles. At least I don't think it does. But it's just really, really beautiful. And it gives my skin a smoothness, but without it feeling silicone-y. I really don't like... Um, like a heavy silicone kind of primer. I just feel like it clogs up my pores. I feel like it just feels plasticky and I just kind of don't like that on my skin. This has none of that. This just feels like like a lightweight, medium weight kind of moisturizer and it just sinks in really quickly and yet it still leaves my skin feeling really moisturized and smooth, very, very smooth. So this has been absolutely lovely. And there's two sizes of this and I purchased the smaller size and I'm kind of kicking myself because I know I'm just gonna blow right through this, but this has been wonderful. And if you guys watched my best of 2019, you heard me talk about it then, it's just great. So that's the Victoria Beckham uh, Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer. It is lovely. And I think some people were asking whether they should put SPF on top or underneath. I feel like I've done it both ways. I'm thinking back actually. I have done it both ways. Yeah, I've done it both ways because when I was in Hawaii, I actually brought this with me. I, the thought of leaving it behind kind of bothered me and that was like a tip off. I was like, I have to mention this in my best of. Um, but in Hawaii, I was putting my SPF on, on top of it because I was going to the pool and like reapplying it or whatever. So I think you can put it on before or after. Generally when I'm here, SPF is kind of like the last step in my skincare routine, but because I kind of consider this as primer, I've been putting this on afterwards and I think it's been fine. It's I haven't gotten any color anywhere. And I do live in Vegas, even though it's winter and it is cold out, the sun is still shining very brightly and I haven't noticed any kind of changes to my skin. So long story long, sorry, I think SPF works on top or underneath this primer. Okay, next up is a product from Kipris, and you guys know how much I love Kipris. They came out with a brand new moisturizer, and it's called the Puff of Love. I hauled this, I don't know, a couple months ago at this point, and I was using it as a daytime moisturizer, as a nighttime moisturizer. I've been enjoying this as a daytime moisturizer. You guys know it's hard for me to stray from my La Mer because I have eczema prone skin, etc., etc. So I was really happy that this worked as a daytime moisturizer. And for me, I just look for something that's moisturizing but not too heavy for the daytime. You know, I just want something that's not going to interfere with my makeup, that's not going to interfere with other things. This actually has been a very, a very nice coupling, <laughs> these two things right here. And you know, Kipris is, you know, all organic. They work with, um, micro batches they work with small farmers they're made in the u.s they're just it's a really wonderful company definitely check out their website if you are interested in that the only i guess you could say downside to these natural organic products is i noticed um down here very very small it says it's three months so i feel like i'm already coming up on the three months which is why I smelled it. It still smells fine it smells very very natural it smells like a bushel of herbs Oh, it's just wonderful. It almost, and I hope this isn't a turnoff, but it's not a turnoff for me. It almost looks like egg custard. It has that like yellow color anyway, and it has that kind of consistency, but it's so, so smoothing. And again, it's, it's lightweight enough that it kind of just soaks right into my skin. It doesn't like hang out on my skin. It doesn't linger too long. And it just makes my skin so smooth and so hydrated and my skin doesn't feel tight for the rest of the day. It's just wonderful. So this has been my go-to like daily moisturizer for the past few months. It's just gorgeous. And then the next product is an eye cream. You guys ask me about eye creams all the time, all the time. And I do love the Sicily Eye and Lip Contour Cream. I love it, but you guys have also heard that the first step in my skincare routine to go if I'm feeling lazy, if I'm tired, if I don't have the time, is eye cream. I just feel like my face cream will probably take care of it, no big deal, and I kind of knock it out. So I end up putting eye cream on, I don't know, maybe three times a week, three or four times a week, I'll say, three or four times a week. And I love the Sicily Eye and Lip Contour Cream, but this Clay de Peau, uh, what's the full name? Enhancing Eye Contour Cream Supreme. This is really wonderful. This is uh, a little bit, I wanna say it's a little bit lighter in texture from the Sisley. If you guys have tried the Sisley, you probably know when you open it up and you like put your finger in, it's really kind of like dense. And so it's a thick cream. And I remember when I first started using that, I was kind of scared that I was gonna end up with Melia. Um, I end up with Melia 
just every once in a while, kind of depending on the product that I use. Generally, it's if I use things that have like a putty-like texture. So cream shadows that are really dense, I can't use, or like eyelid primers that are really thick, I can't use. Um, and so I was a little bit worried. It never gave me any Melia. And in fact, I think I had a little one when I started using it and it went away, which is a really good sign. But that one's very thick. This one is like a little bit thinner. <laughs> doesn't even look like I used it because I've just been using what's in the cap, like what's been left over in the cap. I mean, you need so little eye cream. So anyway, I've been using the Sisley at night and I thought, let me use this one during the day because it's lighter and it's lovely. There is, well, I don't know if you can tell the consistency. So this has really, really been great. It does um, a nice job moisturizing or whatever, but there's something, there's something to this eye cream that I think makes a really lovely eye primer too because it kind of like it like smooths out my skin like it almost adds like this layer of like I don't want to say pore filling because that's wrong but almost like it kind of just fills in any kind of crevice you have and just gives you this like a beautiful like plane to work with and it's great you know I have a lot of fine lines under my eyes and I feel like this really does a nice job kind of like filling all of that in and so when I put concealer on I've been noticing that like my concealer goes on like very smoothly I don't know if you guys have been noticing in any of my more recent videos but I feel like my concealer has been going on a little bit more smoothly and my under eyes just a little look a little bit less like baggy I feel like I can attribute to all of these things again like this double R serum I feel like that was one thing I noticed too like my eyes were just kind of like less puffy let me me know what you think down below in the comments section um, so those are all the like newer products that I've been enjoying and loving in the skincare realm a huge huge thank you to Guerlain for partnering with me on this video thank you so so much I love your products absolutely love them and I'm so so happy to be able to share them with you guys so let me know your comments down below in the comments section give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video